You want to develop a positive mental health? This video is exactly what you need. Several studies have determined a strong relationship between self-confidence and positive mental health. Self-confidence is believing in yourself, in your abilities to achieve what you want to achieve. But to achieve what you want, you need a plan, a process. Because hope is not a strategy and flying blind does not increase your self-confidence. So on this video and last part of this mini series dedicated to self-confidence, I'm going to share with you two other exercises that will help you boost your self-confidence and develop a positive mental health as a modern Muslim woman. Exercise one, clarify your goals. Making progress towards meaningful personal goals is the platform upon which self-confidence is built. In the how to prepare Ramadan right video that I'm going to share with you in the links below that I've done uh, two weeks ago, I talked about smart goals. Let's review them. This system is based on research and it suggests that these types of goals have more chances to be achieved than others. The goals that you are going to set will be specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time bound. So specific, it is the who, what, where, when, why, which, what do I want to achieve? Who is involved? Measurable from when to when, how much, how many, how will I know when I have accomplished my goals? Attainable, it's the how. Is this goal reasonable and doable? Relevant? Is it worthwhile? Is this goal consistent with my needs and values? And time bound? It is the when. Is there a time limit? I will complete this goal by filling the blank. An example for this would be waking up early for Fajr, which I am struggling with these days. So I'm setting a goal to wake up 30 minutes before Fajr every day. I will have at least 30 minutes extra to wake up gently before the Fajr prayer begins and be on time. Exercise two, ask for help and offer your help to others. Many of us find it difficult to ask for help. It is due to fear of rejection or being seen as incompetent. And for me, it is more the second one uh, that is challenging. On the other side, an important element of self-confidence is offering help to others. The moment we are playing a positive role in our family, friendship, and communities, we appropriately feel good about ourselves. We feel like we are fulfilling something that is even bigger than ourselves, than our own purpose in life. And I believe this is one of the reasons why zakat, giving back money, is so important in Islam. Collaboration among people creates the most powerful results. Every time that you will reach out to someone to brainstorm with, you will get so much more than if you were by yourself. And this is how you develop a better self-image and build a positive mental health. So here we are. This was video three on how to increase your self-confidence as a modern Muslim woman. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and leave in the comments down below anything that you want to share from this video, from these practices that I've shared with you today. And if you want to see more videos, please subscribe. To the next video, get focused, get clarity, and get started to live your best life. Bye!